Good morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time of day it is that you're joining me. Um, we're just going to have a little look at uh, some shoulder work, rotator cuff work, upper neck and back. Um, because a lot of us, if we have to spend time on the computer, on the laptop, we end up slouching as the day goes on. Let's just help those muscles to have a stretch out, be a little bit stronger um, and working better for us for longer. Okay, let's go. So we'll start off on all fours. So knees under your hips, <clears throat> hands under your shoulders, breathing and engaged through the core and keep your neck in line with your spine. We're going to use, I'm going to use my left arm first. So breathing in, you're going to reach up as far as is comfortable. And as you breathe out, you're going to thread it all the way through and underneath. Breathing in to lift all the way up. We'll do four. <clears throat> breathing out to thread through and underneath two breathing in to lift breathing out to thread through okay last one this time as you thread through you're going to come all the way down onto your mat then you're going to breathe and extend the other arm you can leave it here or if you can bring it round over the other side just to stretch out and open through the other shoulder too Take a breath in, and as you breathe out, return your arm and come out of your spot. Then we'll do the other side. So breathing in, lift the arm up. As you breathe out, thread it through. Breathing in, lift. Breathing out to thread through. And three. Good, and four. Coming all the way down, resting your head down on the mat. Then as you breathe in, reach forward with your other arm. You can leave it here, or if you can, bring it round the other side. Tuck it in the leg. Breathe in, open through the other shoulder. And as you breathe out, release, retract it, and come out. Great. Okay, so then you're going to come down to laying on your front. So to start, you're going to bring, uh, relax your feet. Um, you can check they're relaxed. Just give your heels a little wobble. Rest your forehead on your mat. You're going to bring your arms down by your side, palms up towards the ceiling. You're going to push your tailbone down towards your feet. Or imagine you've got a million pounds underneath your pubic bone and press that into the mat so it doesn't, you don't lose it. Breathing in, engage the core. And as you breathe out, squeeze the shoulder blades together and lift the arms as far as you can. Breathing in to lower and relax the shoulders. Breathing out, squeeze the shoulder blades together, lift the arms. Breathing in to relax. So keep your forehead rested on the mat, just working through those shoulders and lifting your arms. We'll do eight. Four, halfway there already. Keeping that tailbone pushed down towards the feet. So you're just working through these shoulder blades and arms. Seven. And eight. Great, then bring those hands up by your chest, wrists elevated off the mat, tuck your arms in by your body, so your arms are a bit like a grasshopper, but keep those shoulders down and away from the ears, don't let them sink forward and come up to the ears, keep those shoulders down and away, we're going to do a mini cobra, so once again relax through the legs, push your tailbone down towards your feet, trap that money under your pubic bone, breathing in, as you breathe out, keep that core engaged and lift for a mini cobra. Breathing in to lower and out to lift. So keep your head parallel with your mat so you're not arching through your neck or extending through your neck. Keeping those elbows in and shoulders down. Oh, the mine are popping up. Have to remind them constantly. Keep the shoulders down. Five. Three more. Good. 
and seven. And eight. Well done. Then you're going to bring your hands in front, having your elbows underneath your shoulders, a bit like a sphinx. So your chest is open. Push your tailbone down towards your feet, breathing in, engage through the core. And as you breathe out, you're going to reach forward with your hand. If you can, lift. Otherwise, just leave it down on the mat. Good. Breathing out. Take the other side forwards. Breathing in to lower. Three. Four. And five. Good. Keeping those shoulders down the back. Seven, last two, and eight. Okay, well done. Hold it here. We're just going to stretch a little bit through the neck. So relax the legs, breathing in. As you breathe out, extend your arm, keep contact with the mat. Look over your shoulder. Bring the arm back, head back to the centre. Breathing out, other side. Look over your shoulder. Head back to the centre, bring the arm back. Good, and three, just do four, last one, look over your shoulder, well done. Okay, so from here, push back into child's pose, have a nice stretch out. If you open your knees a little bit, take a breath in, as you breathe out, walk your hands across to the left side of your mat. Place your right hand over your left and push your right buttock down towards your right heel. Breathe in, stretching through your ribs and your waist on the right hand side. As you breathe out, walk your hands back across your mat over to the right. Place your left hand over your right hand, push your left buttock down towards your left heel. Take a breath in, open through the ribs and your waist on the left side. As you breathe out, walk your hands back to centre and just relax it down here. You can bring your arms behind if you like, just to relax through the shoulders. And rest your head on the mat. Another very nice neck stretching exercise from here is bring your hands by your, in front of you, rest your forehead on the mat, roll over onto the crown of your head, lifting your hips, but keep the weight of your body through your forearms. Breathing out. You won't do a roly-poly unless you push yourself over. So don't do a roly-poly. Just stretch out through the neck. Do that a couple of times. Well done. Then from here, we can come up in Downward Dog, tuck your toes underneath, breathing in. As you breathe out, push your hips up towards the ceiling, heels down towards the floor. You can pedal through the knees, so you just stretch up through either leg, keeping the feet and knees hip width apart. Push your head away from your hands, lift the hips up towards the ceiling, then gently bend the knees, walk your hands back towards your feet, lift the hips, relax the head and the neck. If you've got light, low blood pressure, bring your arms up behind you now, and then slowly uncurl the spine. Otherwise, you could just squeeze those seat bones together, giving strength to the lower back. Your buttocks are working too to bring you back up. Fantastic. Have a nice, stretchy, flexible, mobile day.